Well, we know Canada is not on track to meet our commitment to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, but there are some experts who believe all is not lost. A group called EcoFiscal, an independent economics organization looking at policy options, has put out a new report that says the right approach can still make a big difference, and it concludes the right approach is carbon pricing. That's at the heart of what our political leaders are arguing about. Our chief political correspondent, David Aiken, has read through the report and joins me from Ottawa. David. Well, Donna, all parties, and this includes the Conservatives, say that climate change is a serious threat to the planet. And all of them agree that Canada needs to hit its Paris target of cutting emissions by 30% compared to 2005 levels, and to do that by 2030. But how to do that? That's where the arguments start. Politicians like Ontario's Doug Ford and Alberta's Jason Kenney think emissions can be cut with tough regulations that focus on big emitters like energy companies. And economists at the Ecofiscal Commission say it is possible to hit our Paris targets that way, but that will cost the average Canadian too. The problem with that is that if you're going to focus policy only on the you know, heavy industry basically and have very expensive subsidies, there's an economic cost to pay. If you're going to put a lot of subsidies in place, generous subsidies, you've got to raise taxes to pay for them. Personal income taxes would have to rise somewhere in the ballpark of 4 to 6 percent over the next decade. And that kind of tax hike could choke overall economic growth. Trudeau's Liberals, on the other hand, along with governments in B.C. and Quebec, believe putting a price on carbon is a better system than relying on regulation. And the experts at the Commission agree. It is the most visible, but it is also the best for the economy. It's the least cost policy, and it's the least cost by a considerable chunk. The current federal carbon tax and rebate plan has carbon priced at $20 a ton, rising to $50 a ton by 2022. The Ecofiscal Commission says the price will have to rise to $220 a ton by 2030. And that means the carbon tax would quadruple, but so would rebates given to consumers, again, to keep everything revenue neutral. Now, convincing voters, particularly those in the West, that quadrupling the carbon tax and rebate is the cheapest and lowest cost way to hit our international commitments is going to be a tough sell. But the Ecofiscal Commission believes that some frank talk from all political parties about the true costs and benefits of their plans will help make voters to make the right choice for their pocketbooks and the planet. Donna? David, thanks. This is the final report from Ecofiscal. More details on the report and the people behind it, they're on our website.